good when I come visit you, though. There you go. There you go. Good morning, YouTubers. Good morning, my people. Y'all know what Marlene's got to do. She got to go and refresh her page so she can see you guys on YouTube. So Linda B and I are talking about her moving to the Bahamas. <laughs> she didn't know what I was saying. Get on out of there. Get on out of that weather. Oh, that weather, that weather. I lived in New York for seven years, I guess, about that. Uh, it was it was brutal. It was brutal. Um, the temperatures were extreme. And um, yeah. yeah, wasn't loving it. Yeah, I never, like I said, I never did go out like that. I never did go out like that. I would send my children's father, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? On your way home, I understood because it was really brutal for me. It was hard for me to 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 get used to, and um, he didn't didn't face him. Uh, and if whatever else I needed, I simply ordered. I, I just ordered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just ordered. Yeah, it's no big deal. It was just tough because I was not used to that. I was an island girl, island girl, island girl. <laughs> so island girl means it's sunny, it's hot, it's warm, it's beautiful. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, when temperatures are like, our temperatures are extreme heat, though. That's the only thing. So you have to get used to that. I love that. that. I love it. It's I don't extreme, though. I'm telling you, it's, ex it's extreme. Oh, I don't It's complain. extreme. Yeah. It's, it, listen, it's hot. Okay. Now, I, I complain about the cold. I complain. I complain that's, about the cold, but I could I could definitely still complain about the heat, too. And so well, that's I'm why you got the beach. That's why you got the beach. Yeah, you got to have time. You know, you got to have time. You know, I'm, I'm choosing my battles now. That's what I, yeah, I choose my battles, yes. And I would definitely go to the beach, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Most definitely I'd go to the beach, you know, because I choose my battles. I, I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I can choose at my age what I want to do. Yeah, I can do what I want. <laughs> That's how I think. That's how I see it. You know, so what? I did not ask you to boost anything. <laughs> asking. You, Facebook has asked me if I want to boost the, no, I just want to share it. Come on. What y'all doing? Come on, Facebook. I just want to share to some pages. That's it. But, you know, it's a beautiful day here. I haven't been outside yet, obviously. I will in a few. And to see how things are going out there. But, hey, I'm just happy that you're with me. Happy that you chose to be with me today Um, in my little kitchen. Something better. And, um... I hope that you enjoy our segment today. It's going to be an easy one today. Every day can't be hard. Yesterday was a very tough day for me. I had some young men here working. And um, when I start working at, I get up at four because I have to work at five. And then I went from there to kitchen with you guys. And then I... Had these young men came to do some stuff here, and I was on my feet until three o'clock. Mm. And they said, "You haven't sat down when we got here." I said, "I know. I'm cooking for you." <laughs> mm. He said, "Wow!" And so I made them some. Let me show you guys what I made them because you know I don't drink the juices like that, but I did have to taste it. So this is ginger lemonade with hibiscus. Oh my god! And goodness. so I mm. know, right? <laughs> And I had two containers, so that shows you how much they had. And so one of the guys is like, man, may I have some more? <laughs> I mm. said, yes, you can. So I said, I'll save the rest for you guys when you come back on Friday so you can get it. But it ain't a whole lot, but it's enough for just because they will be here for a short time on Friday. Where he was like, that was good. I was like, thank you so much. He said, you're a very kind lady. I said, well, thank you. God bless you, you know. And so I thought it was pretty cool that I could share that with them. But you know what else I did? Let me show you what else I did. I, let me show you guys what else I did. Hold on. Let's go there. Let's go to the start of our show and then I'll show you what else I did. Let me see. I had him taste the food that I, because one won't taste. He's like, mm-mm. He said, you're a vegetarian. So I said, how did you know that? He said, because your car says vegan life. <laughs> I said, I'm going to take it off my car. Mm -hmm. He said, your car says vegan life. I said, oh yeah, I'm going to take that off because that, that makes it too easy. That makes it, yes, yes. That makes it way too easy, you know, way too easy. Hold on. Okay. Um, good. So 
here is what we're going to do. Let's get an official start and we get into our kitchen. But I have to get these. I need to get them in the oven. I forgot they didn't even roast. I knew nothing yet, guys. Nothing. But anyways, God is good. I see you there, Lady D. I see you. You jumping in here quietly. Let's do this. Let's get the official start of today's live. That's what we did. What time is it? Right time to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global Weight Loss Challenge. Enjoy vegan meal plans, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome WhatsApp group support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register. Forward email address via WhatsApp to 242-535-6293 marlene underscore mckinney at live.com don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card what time is it life changing time join the challenge get on board good morning <laughs> good morning hi y'all just one on me i'm this crazy girl but you know something some days we don't want to get up and I thought I'm going to, use, you know, I told the girls, I said, I paid $28 for this video and I'm going to use this every day for the next 28 days. Because some days we don't want to get up. This morning was one of them. It took me half an hour to get out of my bed. Oh my God, that's. But once I got out, I thought I had a great time exercising. I thought I had fun. I was just like, I'm having, I'm just in my element. Hallelujah. Some days it's going to be tough. Bloom where you're planted, people. Just get on up. Once you get up and get moving, the day is going to be a beautiful day. I promise you. But you got to get up. You can't do it if you're in bed. You can't. So if you're thinking of getting out of that bed this morning, come on, get up. And allow God to just let those flowers bloom, okay? Just do that with me. So let me show you something. We're doing almond butter this morning. It's easy. That's easy peasy, right? We're doing almond butter. And we're doing, um, I'm going to do barbecue. I'm going to show you the different textures of our meat that we made yesterday yeah if i could find the other one i love somebody okay here we go so and then we're going to barbecue all of that and i'm going to deliver that to well jackie will come and get it for her hubby but it tastes amazing i'm telling i haven't tried the sausages but i did try the boiled one that would be my favorite and so that's what we're doing today and i'm so happy that you're with us it's Bahamian jamaican thing with marlene and lady d and we are happy that you're here this morning so that's what my own looked like after i was finished with it yesterday does it look good come on i want to hear somebody say something come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on. does it look good yes it looks good. <laughs> i know right listen so you know he's the young man who's going to be on the screen next could not deny it he was like wow what is it <laughs> and here he is listen Yesterday, yeah, yeah. I made the tofu lasagna and the chickpeas. The hold on, hold on. And wow, with some work. And he is eating gluten steaks barbecue. How is it? It's awesome. <laughs> Did I tell you to say that? Wow. Hold on, let's look at the <laughs> Okay. So he had tried, you had tried chunks before. It's good, yes. Yeah, but this one, you're, this is your first time trying... It's your second time trying vegetarian food. It's good. It's good. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and so he tried that. His name, he told me to call him Hennis. Ah, oh, it's the name of a bear. Somebody know. I don't know. I don't know bears. Oh, gosh. Anyway. Anyway. That young man said it was really good. I can't remember his name right now. I will remember. So, but Anwar, he came with Anwar. And they did my some work here and I was so grateful but he was he was the only one that was game I know I was like not me <laughs> and I made him some cookies which I'm going to show you in a while I think online we may have um with us this morning um brave braves free range chicken farm I had gone there just a few months back looking for some eggs organic eggs um because mm -hmm. you know you can take eggs and use it for persons who are low in iron so I was just on a mission that day on glass on Cowpen Road looking for eggs. And as I pulled up to the Haitian village, the young ladies that sell their foods, they said, no, go to the guy right next door. And I pulled into his yard and I had the most beautiful tour ever. OK, he gave me a beautiful tour of his place. And so he said this ad yesterday, he's selling his little biddies. 
There you Jeez. go. Look at them. Look at them. They're so oh, cute. Yeah. I know, right? They're so cute. I said, oh my goodness. And so he gave me the price that I can't remember. But look for Brave. I'll, if you need his number, there goes another little video. Look at them. He said, they're just coming out and they're like wild. <laughs> they look so excited to get out. Freedom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew you would enjoy this, Linda B. And this is just for you. I just knew you would yes. enjoy this. Yes, I <laughs> love my little birds. I know. So I said, I had to share it. And so he sent the ad and I said, I'll share it for you. So I'm going to take you back to that page where you can get his number. It's Braves. If you need his number, just give me a call. But I think you can see it's 341-4245. There you go. Or 467-5512. Give Brave a call. He was kind enough to give me those eggs that day. He didn't even charge me. He said, you can have them. And so he has an awesome setup there. That's his, I think his granddaughter, I think, um, holding that. Look at that. What is that? <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And clean. I'm talking about clean. Okay, I uh, he gave me a full tour in heels, <laughs> a full tour in heels of his setup there. And I said, I got to share. So guess what? We got someone coming all the way from Florida to do this class. Hello, somebody. So we're going to make this an international affair. If you want to come to the Bahamas and do this class with me one-on-one, -on -one, you need three days with Marlene. Hello, three to four days, and you've got this. You will be This will be down packed. If you want to come and do cooking, that's fine, too. So this young lady says, listen, I'm going to come to the Bahamas. I'm like, wait, I'm in, I'm in Nassau. She said, I'm coming to do the classes. Where are you? Florida. I'm coming. Book me. I'm coming. So, hey, you don't have to come with her. You can just come on your own. It's vacation with a purpose. That's what I love. I like my vacation to be with a purpose. I know ladies are going to be, you still need a vacation. I know I do. <laughs> okay. So come on. That's a nice I know. <laughs> Don't say a word. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> So she said, I'm coming to the Bahamas. She's never been to the Bahamas. Huh? I never know. Yeah, so she's going she's gonna to come. She's going to come. She's going to come. And she is going. I can share that for you. Yes. Um, she's going to come. And she's going to be a part of the soaping program. All right. And if you want to um, register, these are the different various ways you can register for either the wellness or the soap. It's the same registration. Okay. If you live in the Bahamas, you can do RBC transfer. If you live in the U.S., you can do a Zell. Just put in my email for Southwest Bank. It comes up. Or if you live in places where you don't have any of the above, but you can do PayPal, you can do PayPal. Or you can just call me and I can send you a link. That's Miss Joan. I want to ask one of my participants this morning if they would just tell the world a little bit about what your experience has been. I was supposed to call anybody, somebody, and I forgot. I was busy, man. Yesterday was hard for me. Is there someone on this morning who's willing to share a little bit about their experience? Come on. Jan, Joan, Joanne. I know Joanne is on YouTube. Come on. Anybody here willing to share just a snippet of what your experience has been like um, in the wellness program for persons like Phyllis who are considering? Because, you know, people are like, well, that five o'clock hour is kind of early. But I record. I record the cooking segments. I record our health segments. And we have a health segment every Thursday. A new schedule will come out in just a short time to tell you what is it's going to be like um, for the next week. But we do cook. Yes, of course, we cook. Lots of cooking. And we exercise together. Come on, somebody open that microphone before I start calling names again. Mm -hmm. Charlene, is Charlene in? I think Charlene is in. Anybody? Somebody? Hello, Paging. Anybody? <laughs> I know y'all there. Hello? Things that make you go, hmm. I can't see who's there because, of course, I'm on, on YouTube, on live. Is there somebody you want to share? Nobody want to share. Wow. Hold on. I know Joan would share if she's hearing me. I don't know where she's at at the moment. Yeah, I know Joan would share. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. All right. Hold I'll on. share, Mom. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Hey, uh, that's uh, Mom Muriel. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, yes. This is an awesome, awesome program. And I've been on here for <laughs> over a year. And <laughs> Marlene, uh, she has different aspects to the class. She has the parts where she does uh, the exercise uh, and she does uh, uh, health lectures. She also does uh, 
the cooking classes, which are just terrific. You learn so much. If you want to do uh, to be uh, to change your way of living, to change your no, I'm go, that's not I'm not going to call it diet because it's a way of living. It's a life. If you want to uh, change your way of living in eating, because we know that our eating habits are what uh, affects our health. So um, she does healthy uh, living cooking, which is plant based, and she has so many different recipes she has her website where you can go on and get the recipes you can make them and they are great recipes that will benefit you with your health whether it be simple health uh issues that you have or even uh people who deal with cancer you she you can mm -hmm. contact her individually she'll work with you whatever your health issues are and this is a uh, program that I highly recommend because uh, it has done so much for me, whether health issues or just uh, camaraderie with meeting new people. So uh, this is something you should consider doing because I, I, I tell you, it is awesome. And Marlene has the energy of the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> I want to show you guys a video. I don't know if I have permission, but I have to. You think I'm like I want to be like him. Really, I'll show you a video. <laughs> um, <laughs> did, uh, did you see it this morning? Um, uh, Gus shared a video with a 95 year old guy who's swimming. He's teaching swimming. He has so much energy. I want to be like him. <laughs> uh -huh. I said, well, okay, I'm gonna be teaching the these. I'm gonna be teaching this robot until I go to sleep in Jesus. I'm telling y'all, y'all not the show. I gonna be here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. That's mom. The voice you're hearing is the voice of Mom Muriel. I've named her affectionately Mom Muriel. She's been with us, I think, almost two years. And yes, I just love her so years. much. Yeah. yeah. So thank you yeah. so, so much. She's been with me all this while. Our biggest loser was um Athena. She's in Australia and she may be watching because I go on and I see people from Australia still watching. So hi Athena. And Athena lost 75 pounds in like three months. I was scared. I was like, girl, you better slow down. But she's done a marvelous job. And of course, we have Paula and Cherry and um my girl, what's my girl name? Hallelujah. <laughs> All these girls have done so well, you know, in, in learning. And so I just say, hey, come on down to the Bahamas if you're in the area in this beautiful weather, especially at this time of year, it's a great time to come and do vacation with a purpose with Marlene and learn how to make your soaps. So yesterday, the young man said, I don't know what I, oh, they were in the room doing work. And I said, oh my goodness, I said, I should have left my stuff in it. This is my soap because of the young man said, you make soap too? Because <laughs> <laughs> when he came, I gave him bread. He said, your bread. As soon as he walked in, he said, um, so that bread, um, that was whole wheat bread? I said, yeah. He said, boy, that was that was on point. That was it. I said, first of all, then I made them some cookies, some thumbprint cookies. I buy oh, that was not delicious. I know, right? They were good. Yeah. So yeah, I got in trouble with those cookies yesterday. No cookies for me today. So let's get cooking. <laughs> serious. I'm going, I have to show you guys this 95-year-old. These are almonds. I think I have about two cups of almonds here. I'm going to pop it into my little toast oven and put a timer on somebody. We only need it in there for, I think, 15 minutes. Right. Let's see if I can get it right. Let's see if I can get it right. Let's go to the um recipe right quick. Let's pull it up. Hold down for me. Hey, Joanne over in YouTube land. Thank you for being with us. I see you. I see you. I see you. Thank you. Those who are watching on YouTube, remember you can share this um with your friends and family. Do that for me. All right, let's go. Let me show you the recipe. So the recipe, to, the first recipe I'm going to pop in there will be the almond butter. And the almond butter... Let's go back to the top, sorry. So when you put an almond butter, it goes to the recipe. And all you need is about two cups of roasted almonds. Okay, you want to preheat the oven for 350, so it's seven to eight minutes. Somebody put it on seven to eight minutes for me, please. I already got I'm putting that on a longer time. Seven to eight minutes means that at 728, we need to be taking it out. Because otherwise, it's going to be burnt and it's going to taste a little roasted. All right, so three dates. I'm not going to use dates today. I found the dates to make it a little stiffer than I'd like. I'm going to use the maple syrup with a pinch of salt and a little bit of coconut oil. And then you just put it in the blender and it blends nicely. Now, when Miss Joan first made it, she used it in her food processor and it was fine for her. So you don't have to have a blender, uh, uh, right? You don't have to have a blender. You can use a food processor also. All right, so you can make your own almond butter. 
You don't have to go buying these things. Think about it. When I purchase a bag of almonds for $17 to $20, that's the average cost of it. You can go over to the meal book to Chantel, tell them Marlene sent you, right? You get $20 for the bag of three pounds. Think about it. I just want you to work it out with me. Oops. I mean, we're, let's work it out together. I want to show you because I have a I have a container of almond butter in here somewhere. Okay, here it is. Here we go. So I go to the store and I buy this almond butter for eleven dollars. Eleven dollars for one point five pounds. Think about it. This is three pounds. Think, you see what I'm saying? Makes no sense. Why did I buy it? I don't even know why I bought it. That's the crazy thing. I don't know why I bought it. That don't make no sense. That don't that don't make no business sense or cents and dollars. It don't it don't wait. Because you can get this for twenty dollars and I can have so much more. I could use it for everything else that I use it for. So that's how I look at life. That's how we should all look at life. So I won't buy this again. I don't ever buy it. I always make it. I don't know why I bought it. I guess I thought it was a good price and it was a good price. Good price. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's the oven method again? At what temperature and for how long? You roast it you're, this, roasting. you're roasting it for seven to eight minutes at 350. At 350, okay. Yes, yes. All right. All right, so yesterday, yesterday, let me get my knife. We made gluten steaks. And that's what you saw the young man tasting. But before I forget, I want to show you this video because I'm going to be like him. If the Lord tarries, my Muriel, I'm this guy. I must meet him. I'd love to meet him. Oh, how I'd love to meet him. I like to meet people who are he is 95-year-old fitness machine, still teaching aqua aerobics. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Watch it. I know, right? I thought it was so fascinating. I thought it was just fascinating. So you're going to see him. I, don't, I didn't. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop it. Hold on. I'm going to just download it quickly so I don't have to use it there. And, and I can download it now because I watched it already. Awesome. So I'm going to just insert it. That way we don't have to do it from there. I don't like, I like things to look right. Gotta look right, gotta look right, right? So there we go, let's insert that video so you can see the aqua aerobics teacher at 95. I mean, like, wow. I hope I didn't cut off his head. <laughs> I hope I didn't cut off his head, let's see, sure. Oh, it's not giving a design, hallelujah, that's okay. So here we go, let me show you this guy, 95, and he has the energy of, man, he has energy, I love it. I absolutely love it. Make sure I didn't cut off his head. Hallelujah. Uh, let's escape that again. Let's go back. I'm sorry. Awesome. awesome. Bill Stevens is a fitness machine. Give it a go. Back this way. Oh. No surprise, the pool was packed for his 8.30 a.m. aqua aerobics class. His sessions are more than just a workout. Bill is amazing. He's a really good inspiration for our community. The man himself has had to give up running, but isn't slowing down. He walks five kilometres a day and teaches at four locations. They see me, <laughs> so I'll, this, I'll go again to it, I can do it. And they, they do it. Bill teaches 12 classes a week, and as you can see, he puts everything into it. His regulars <laughs> absolutely love it. I think, well, if I can actually make it <laughs> to that age and be so fit, that would be really fantastic. The great grandfather is urging others to take part in a national health campaign aiming to get people moving on the back of worrying statistics. We have an epidemic of chronic disease in this country, and we need to do much more as a community, much more from government. And I think much more together uh, to bring those rates of chronic disease down. I was keen having some Sunday to head to healthofthenation.com.au to sign up for a free fitness program. Or you can always head to one of Bill's classes. He's getting too much out of them to stop. Three, two, <laughs> and the last time. <laughs> they spend a lot of energy. That energy comes back to me too. No, so if I see that jump, I can jump too. <laughs> Nathan Curry, Nine News. Talk about inspiration, huh? Yes. Talk about inspiration, huh? 95. Let's do this. Who? I don't believe in excuses. I tell you, I don't want to get up in that bed some mornings. I'm that same little plant just breaking through the, like, I don't want to. But hey, you got to do it. Do what you got to do. Get up, people. Get on up. So I, we need three more minutes in there, I think. Let's do this while we wait. All right. So this is the texture 
of the one that went into the crock pot. I want you to see the difference. Now, I think I cooked this a little longer than it should have. Not think, I know, right? I think I did. It should be softer. But unfortunately, yeah, yeah, not this one. And then this is the, the little sausages, right? That's our sausage. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> the bowl, the That's steam. the ones that went in the steam, right, in the steam basket. Now, I did go longer because, remember, I didn't have the exact right. If it was the right cover, it, an hour, an hour. And then this here, baby, are the ones that went in the water. Listen, that's the one I gave the guy. So we're going to take this now. We're going to just dice it up. Not dice it. I'm going to just cut it up in little strips. I'm putting all in there. <laughs> I don't think it will make a difference to Daddy Ray or Jackie. You know, well, she can come and pick this up. I don't know if they're watching. I doubt it because she's working right now. So I'm going to just cut it up and I'm going to... Toss a little flour. I'm going to do just like how I did it yesterday, and you're going to watch me do it. I promise you. Say I won't take any. I'm just mixing it all together. To me, though, this one is very soft and just nice, right? Perfect, 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 perfect. That Which one is soft? Which one you're saying? The one is that soft. I boiled. The one that I boiled was it's really, the water really made perfect. it juicy. Yeah. The water made it juicy. So I'm just going to do it all together, and um, I'll have her taste the different ones for you. I did taste a little piece. It was so good. It was so good. It was like, yeah. So the ones that you made as sausage, you would just pan fry those if you were doing them as sausage? Say it again if I would. You would pan. you would just pan fry those, the ones yes. that were the sausage? Yes. yes. Yeah. And I I mean, it looks like sausage. It looks just like the sausage we buy at the, at the store, the Morning Star. <laughs> That's crazy, right? It looks yeah, just it looks like the Morning Star. Perfect. Yeah, just like the Morning Star. Mm -hmm. I think my children, they used to have a lot of little treats, man. They loved it. I had a little nephew who would come and visit when they came to visit. He said, Auntie Molly, what you got for me to taste today? <laughs> and like every day was a different treat because I was trying to get my cookbook out. So, you know, so look how much we got from that one cup and a half of, of gluten. And I gave away this much. Because I, I gave some to the people that were here, my, my girl Mara last night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. I need my thing. Imagine that. I mean, imagine. Look how much I got from one and a half cups of flour. You could feed your family, couldn't you? Just yeah. half your recipe. You can feed your family. Hey, Laura. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Charlene. I see you guys watching. Thank you. So I'm just going to finish it up. That's what we'll do. We'll finish it up. All right? Put some onions in there. Then I'm going to toss a little bit of, um. I think my, my nuts are supposed to be ready. Check them. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they should be ready. So I just toss these like so. Julian. Okay. Let's wash my hands and check that. Let's check it. Let's check it. Let's check it. Hold on. Huh? All right. It's um eight minutes is up. Yeah, I'm I'm checking it now because you don't want them to burn because then it will taste burnt. So you roast them at 350 for eight mm -hmm. for eight minutes. They smell good. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so okay. good. I'll just rest that there. I'll turn it off and leave it in. But I do need, I don't have the space. <laughs> turn it off. I don't like to turn it off. I don't like to, you know, that's a spring in there. And I don't like to turn it off. I don't want to ruin the spring. Nevertheless, nevertheless. All right. So what I did, I'm going to take you to the stove. So you can do exactly what I did. But somebody got to tell me how to open up this. I've got two of these in my fridge and I don't know how to. I don't know. With a <laughs> knife. With a knife. No, it's not opening. I can't. I hope I can't find the soft spot. Oh, well, then I can't help you if you can't. <laughs> I just take my knife and I just chop on the top. Chop, chop, chop on nice, the top. Yeah. Heavy knife. Yeah, and that's what I do because it's hard to find that spot. Well, I'm going to get it. I'm going to find that because I need that. I need that this morning because I'm going into the prayer room. I need that this morning. You had All right, drink. so let's grab my... Yeah, I got to grab that. So then I'm going to take you over to the stove so you can see what we're doing over there. Let's share camera. All right. Hi, Elfedge. Hi, Jackie, Jan, all of you young people. Okay, beautiful. So I'm going to grab a little bit of um, olive oil and just grab my camera and take you with me to the stove. And then we're going to also stay over here as we blend our, as we blend our, um, let's get into the nuts. Beautiful. Our nuts, yes. All right. You can see, it's good, right? You can see it clearly that you place it. Awesome. So I'm going to add a little olive oil. 
right? And then I'm gonna turn that stove on first. Turn that stove on first. All right. And then I did get a little flour. And I literally fried it down with the onions with the flour. I'm gonna show you what I did. Right? Let's get that there. Hold on for me. Come in now. And you saw the testimony of the young man. I didn't pay him to do that. <laughs> Didn't pay him. I never met that young man in my life. That was my first time meeting him, right? First time ever. Never met that guy before. So then that goes my meat, right? Let's take it up some so you can see. I wish I had some bell peppers. I have not been to the store. I've not done anything. Okay. So I'm going to take that over there, put the onions over there. And I didn't season it anymore. I didn't need any more seasoning either. Okay. Don't put no more salt. If you're following the recipe to a tea, you don't need any more. All right. I probably could add a little cayenne, a little dash of cayenne. I just sprinkled it. Nothing major. Just sprinkled it so it could have a little batter. This is exactly what I did yesterday. All right. Just enough. Just enough. Just enough. And I gave some to two of the girls that were here last night. I couldn't give away Jackie's flour, so I gave to my electrician. Is she watching this morning? And Mara! <laughs> Looks like the little white spot. Let me see. Hold on. What you saying, Charlene? Charlene, say it again. Say it again, Sharsha. All right, there we go. All right, so then I could feel the warmth from that coming. Let's take it down a little so you can see what I'm doing. Let's try it. Mm, not quite. Let's do it. Give it two seconds. Let's give it two seconds. Let's give it two seconds. All right. Not that it's anything major because we ain't about to cook anything major. And then I have my barbecue sauce. I am not making the barbecue sauce. No, I'm not. And um, Jackie would tell me to add a little sugar to her barbecue sauce. So I'm doing exactly what she would like. And a dash of cayenne pepper. Very kind. So is it ready? Anybody can tell me? Yeah. Looking better. Looking like it's awesome. You know what I'll do? I'll cover it for just a second, see if we can do quickly, really quickly. Let's replace that for just a second so we can continue talking. So I'm adding a dash of cayenne to Jackie's. Um, and I'll have her do a video also. If she don't like it, she can be honest. She can tell you, child, I ain't like that. <laughs> child, that don't taste good, Marlene. But, you know, she likes it. Usually we sell this one. They used to sell this at my store. And I... You know, there's so much work involved in cooking, you know. Can oh, you yeah. boil it? Can you get to batter it and fry it? And just try to say, you know, I'm like, mm -mm. Child, please. You choose your battles at this age, baby girl. <laughs> All right, good. So I think it's warm enough now. Let's replace that so you can see what I'm doing here. Let's replace it or add it. How about it? Yeah, let's add that so you can see me too. All right, so here we go. All right. Let's get that in there. Just trying to toss that flour on there a little bit better. Just trying to toss the flour. Use that cutting board because I'm very dishes conscious. Because ain't nobody here washing no dishes. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody. I'm serious, man. Okay, after those shows, my music, when you guys in the prayer room, I'm here washing dishes. I can't wait. Open my, my phone, my, my microphone. Them <laughs> dishes be like, oh, boy. You know, so... And I have prayer room after, so it's possible. So I may have to add a little oil, just a little. You can add whichever one you have. I have olive. I use the olive for soap. I use the olive for everything. Or, or you could use coconut. Oops, that's too much oil. Hallelujah, Jesus. Okay. Um, or you can use the coconut oil. Because, you know, olive is not probably the best for this at the moment, to be honest. But we're not, it's not going to go that long. Right? What time is it? We're doing good. All right. So let that just pan up. Okay. Cook down, and then I'm going to add my onions. I am also going to add some of my, and I did yesterday too. I added some of my, um, my little scallion and my chives, right? I added some of that yesterday. I love that. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get that open. So I'm going to add, that's the, that's the um, garlic. I just have them in a little water so they can stay fresh on my counter. There you go. It's the garlic. And this is onion, right? 
we can't go all in. Mind you, you won't see it though, because truth be told, um, they're putting barbecue sauce on there, so you won't see it. All right, come in now, wash that flour off my hand. All right. And this is, I'm telling y'all, if you like, I mean, you know, if you're allergic to stuff, then you don't want to use the gluten. Hold on, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that comment, Charlene. Give me just a second. I'm a little far from the device, and I have a two parts this morning. Let's bring it all over. On the top of the coconut, there's, I know, there's supposed to be a soft spot on top of the coconut, but I don't see it. And I have two of them, Char, and none of them showing up. <laughs> Let's get that in there. Ah, that's pretty. Yeah, let's get that in there. And that's nice and flavorful. Flavorful, flavorful, flavorful. Yeah, I'm looking for that little soft spot. Really, I am. All right, let's move me. Hold on, later. Yeah, there's supposed to be a soft spot on there, but I don't see it, too, girl. I don't see it nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. So I'm coming over there now. I can toss that. So anybody's gonna try making this? I know Linda B said she was. Yes, because yesterday I made the um tofu lasagna and the oh yes, yes. What did you make? Chickpea pasta stew because it was so rainy that oh. the, that I decided to cook and the and the stew was the chickpea stew was a go to, and now the, the lasagna is for for church and for the rest of the week. Okay, so you haven't tried the lasagna yet? I tried a little bit of it. It was good. My only it thing is, good. I I I used a a tomato um sauce, you know, for spaghetti, and I like to sweeten yeah. mine a little bit, and I should have sweetened oh, yeah. mine a little bit before I use it, because sometimes they can be like a little on the salty side. Yeah, and the acid, the acid. So yeah, you didn't use acid. you didn't use um tomato um spaghetti sauce. That's what I use, spaghetti sauce. Yeah, but it's, all really, oh, it's too it's too acidy for me, so I have to yeah. sweeten mine as well. Yeah, yeah. and I didn't, yeah. I didn't yeah. sweeten yeah. it. I didn't sweeten it. So, but it was yeah. still good. I made the, I think um, the one I used, the brand I used, probably was perfectly sweet for me because I tell you, I know because sometimes it can be really, yeah, that's pretty good. Sometimes it can be real acid. That's right. When you made your um, mm -hmm. your. What was the second thing you made? You made the lasagna and then the in the she did the chickpea noodle soup. How was it? Oh, did you need to? Good. I put, you I need put to a little, I put it? a little celery in it at the end. I chopped it up real fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, nice put, yeah I did mine with celery as well. And you know what I did? Well, I, I used the celery. Yeah, I used the celery water because remember I told you I I cut up all my yes. celery and put it in water. I used that water, and it uh -huh. gave it a wonderful taste because of the celery was in there, so it gave it more of that flavor. Like it was almost like a celery broth, almost. Yeah, but I, I didn't need to. I, I didn't, didn't need to. Um, mm -hmm. mine thick. I didn't need to add any a slurry to it because it thickened by itself. I guess because one of the things I did was I crushed up some of my yeah the bean the, yeah and that helped yeah, thicken it. So I didn't need to do the slurry. I just slurry. used the water that I boiled the carrots and the pasta in and made mm -hmm. it, and it still came out really nice. It wasn't oh, yeah. wasn't soupy at all. Nice, very nice. I enjoyed my own. I ate all. I remember I only made a little pot. I didn't want anything to be left behind because I keep having food left behind if I have nobody coming. So I was like, nope, just making just enough, just enough. All right, so let's get to this recipe while we are waiting for this to cook on them. we be in the same corner. So here are my roasted almonds. Oh, my roasted almonds. Whew, they're hot. <laughs> they are hot. Here you go. Right. I have bought I have bought um raw almond butter before, haven't I? Mm -hmm. I think I have. It is nice and hot. All right. Awesome. 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 Beautiful. Let's rest this back in there. And I'm using my toast oven because I have granola baking because I am a, I'm gonna be busy for the next couple of well, another couple of hours from now at a um a help fair site for the Royal Bahamas Food Fair. So I'm an, I'm an invited guest down there. 
Yeah, I'm baking up a, gre a breeze trying to make my trip down there worth a while. There you go. Hmm. Y'all can't see what I'm doing there, but I'm... Uh-oh. Am I frozen? I think I'm frozen. Uh -oh. I don't think so. No. We are looking at the... Well, um, the blender. Know. Yeah, I'm the frozen. Blender, I'm you. frozen. I'm frozen. Okay, I'm frozen. That, that camera's frozen. Let me... um. Yeah, I'm frozen. Ah, I see what happened. I think I hit it. I hit it. Hello, y'all can hear me? Y'all can't hear yes, me? Yes, we can. And we see yeah, you. I, I think I hit it. I hit the camera. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I hit it by mistake just now. I did something. I did something out of lot. I said, let's go back there. Let's go back there. Eclipse. All right, beautiful. So we're into the blender. So in the blender, I'm going to turn this down so we can get back to that. I'm going to put my, let me put the recipe back up on the screen again. It's very simple. You need two tablespoons of coconut oil. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. Two tablespoons of coconut oil. Okay. That's one. I'm using the real spoon. I don't know why. I asked me. <laughs> All right, so that's about two tablespoons of coconut oil. And then the rest of it. It's on the spoon, use it as lotion, okay? You can get no mosquito bites. I went to the to the um oh boy, my thing's burning. I went to this farm and I thought, oh, I was just being eaten alive. I didn't put on my hold on. You see that? That looks good. You can see that in there, guys? Yeah. Ooh, that looks good. All right. That's awesome. Exactly as dinner. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm just quickly finish it one time. See, I can't see everything if you see. There you so. go. Yeah, that's better, and, right? And Marlene, so yes. based on your cooking process, the color of your gluten is different. Yes? Yes. This one's lighter, that's the one that was boiled. The one that was in the crock pot is darker, and the sausage was about the same color. Yeah. The thing, okay. Yeah, the sausage is about the same color. Then I'm gonna just pour because this is a bit more tender. You see that? So I that's why I put the little flour because I didn't want it to break up. The one that we boiled is a little more tender. I'm realizing that. Yeah. Then I pour my sauce on. I put some water in my sauce. It's a little thick. A little thick. A little thick. All right. Then we're gonna get to our. Have you made it before, Lady D? Have you tried this? I I've made it before, not with this recipe, but I have made it. Okay, all right. I've made it and um added black beans to it to give it more protein. Oh, that's a nice that's a nice cut. Okay, so we added the one that you added black beans. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's a nice touch. Nice, nice, nice. And that gave it the color without me having, because you had mentioned that you could add beets to it, but the black beans gave it that color. Yeah, give it a rich, rich color. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Okay, that's very nice. That looks really good. Yeah, it's really good. And I, I mean, you know, I really enjoyed my bite of it yesterday. I didn't want to have a cramping, because sometimes it leads to cramping for me, but it was very, very good. And I don't think I'll add any more sauce. And I'm going to have Jackie come and get it today. I'll it call it and yeah, it's it looks really, really good. Yes, really good. Nice. So I can't give away if no more. If you have more. a minute, just just give the recipe back again, or give me that recipe. I shall. Get that, get that let me let me do it right now. Good. Let me do it right now. Let me put the recipe up, guys. Hold on one second for me. Let me put that recipe. I know up. someone is looking at that and going, "Oh, hmm. yeah, I know, right? I know." Laura says they blend better when they are uh, hot. That's true, you know, Laura. You are right. I should have put it in when it was hot. Um. Anyway, girl, it's too late now. <laughs> She's telling me that the um the nuts, uh, yeah, the nuts blend better when they're what hot. But, you know, my 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 um my Vitamix gets hot, so All right. So I can quickly go to gluten steaks. Because somebody had asked yesterday, and the gluten steak recipe, yes, it's in my cookbook also. There we go. I'm just I can't it. wait to get my cookbook. Ooh. It's sitting right here on my shelf, baby girl. Hallelujah. Turn the stove off. What's sitting the right barbecue here. sauce, Marlene? <clears throat> What's the, the barbecue sauce is also on the website. 
Oh, okay. That's do you, great. Which one do you buy it? I make. The, I usually make this one. This one is usually homemade because it's oh. vinegar free. So there goes the recipe. Right quick, you go to oh. something better today. Something better today dot com. Y'all better pray for my my um. Here's my saw maple syrup. Remember maple syrup? Oh my god, it's so far in the back of the refrigerator. Lord Jesus, <laughs> that's the barbecue uh, sauce. That's the recipe you're seeing now is the gluten steaks. So that's the gluten, gluten steaks. steaks. Okay. Okay. All let right. me take you to the barbecue sauce. I have that open also. Hold on. Let's go right. there right quick. And then we're going to blend our. There we go. Let's go there. Hold on. Let's go there so you can see it. So when you go to visit, remember to leave a comment if you like the recipe because remember it helps the algorithm to vote, right? It just helps people to see. That hey, somebody else tried this recipe and it was pretty good. That's all it is. That's really what it's about. All right. We get to the recipe, barbecue sauce without vinegar. Vinegar is bad. It's yes. bad for us. Yes, that's why talking I to somebody about it yesterday. So there we go. All right. That's the recipe. You could screenshot it. Or better yet, just visit somethingbettertoday.com. How about it? All right. That's what we want you to do. Okay. So all right. So let's get to this recipe now, hoping that that looks good. That looks good. Yes, here now. Let's go here now. Let's go here. Beautiful. Let's see if I can grab my um my blender. Oh wow. Oh man. <laughs> so right now we just have the two cups of almonds and the three tablespoons of coconut milk. I mean coconut oil. Yes. Yes. And I will put a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. And how much maple syrup are we using? Um, well, with about three dates, so I'll put about two to three tablespoons. And that's it. I'll put a pinch of salt, and like my chef Laura says, it should they should be hot, eh? They really mm -hmm. should. It should be hot. Unfortunately, they're not. Oh, Lear. Yeah, but, but, like but that the right bottom now. mix can heat up, will heat up if the it's, a, if it's a little heat. heat up. I yeah, if there's it. a little heat in the nuts, the heat, it'll heat up. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. There you go. You can see. Let's go. All right, lady, take over the talk because you know they won't be able to hear me. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, it is still a little warm because it's breaking up really nicely. So, and that's one of the good things with the Vitamix is that it it will make you warm soup. <laughs> yeah. Well, your ingredients are warm. So now she's you adding. Steam the, coming from that. Yep, my yeah, step is in. You see it? Yeah. You can it's see it's, it's 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 yeah. Still hot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And one of the good things about making this yourself, you know exactly what's inside of your inside of your butter. You know, right now, it's, this is just three ingredients: the nuts, which you can always, if you want to change that up and do a different nut, you can. It's the same recipe: your nuts, your and, and those four ingredients: the nuts, your salt. Your coconut oil put three. and your sweetener. I should have put, put three, three cups. You know, this is kind of it's hard to catch. It's working me hard. Okay, this is working me really. Hard. I should have put three. Hallelujah. Let me just try it. I can see the butter. I can see the butter. You can see the butter, but because it's mm -hmm. not catching the way it needs to, because it's kind of shallow. All right, it's still a little dry. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try it. Let's see. There you go. It's not butter. Let me try it. Let's see, it's a little crumbly still. Oh, sorry. <laughs> tastes good. <laughs> that tastes good. So will you add a little more oil or a little more? I like am. This? I am. Uh, mm -hmm. It tastes really good. This tastes far better than that store bunch of oh, stuff. <laughs> I'm not calling it junk. Hallelujah. That tastes really nice, guys. So that was another tablespoon? Yeah. How about that? I just wanted to catch. I should. I remembered I should have added three. Because this is the... the Thumper, that's what it's called. It's hard for it to reach it. It can hardly reach it. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's the problem here. 
And I think that, you know, you could add a little at a time instead of the whole thing at one time. Yeah. To see is it how, how it needs, which is needed. No, because and then you really have to reach it. Yeah. I think they, you need they, 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 the most. I think the more you blend it to, the more water it becomes softer. Say that again? No, I'm saying I think the more you blend it, it becomes more liquefied. Yeah, it does. It's it's almost there. What happens is, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm fighting. I'm fighting the fact that this thumper don't reach down there as well, but it's it's there. Right. It just needs to blend just a little more. Let me show you. Hold on. Maybe you you need to maybe you need to add next time. Add more. So I that add three. Yeah. You're almost there. It's nice and smooth. I'm gonna just do it a little bit more. But the more you blend it, the smoother it gets. The more you blend it, the smoother it gets. So next time I'll add three cups. That's what we'll do. I I remembered it and I said, Yeah, I'll do three, three cups of um three cups of the nuts. The nuts. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So you'll have more volume. Right. That's yeah. what you need. That's what the problem you need. I'm finding is it's so shallow. It's shallow. I I think I'd like mine a little bit more smoother and creamier. So you would add what liquid would you add? More syrup or water? You can do both. You can do both. I didn't put water. I didn't add any water. Okay. No, you just did the I, oil. But I added a little oil. A pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, added a little oil. No water. No water in this recipe. But I am considering is just trying to put another couple of nuts in the toaster. Yeah, so you mm -hmm. can get it to move. Yeah, around. so I can just move it around a little better because mm -hmm. I'm I'm fighting with that because it's it's only hitting it. You see it? It's only hitting it. Yeah, that's the problem. I mean, it's there. Don't get me wrong. It's it's really nice. It's not bad at all. But I am going to make another cup for it. Why? And not? then you're going to store this in your fridge. I do, I do store it in my fridge. I do. Um, yeah, you have to. Yeah, because it's homemade. You want to store it in the fridge. Preservatives yeah. in it. No preservatives, only a little pinch of salt. So that's, that's, you know, yeah, that's not going to work. Yummy yum. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Miss Laura says yummy yum. But it's really good. Let me show you guys. Let me show you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, it's still crumbling. Oops, it's my pocket. They're all caught up in there. Oh, yeah. So it's getting there. Okay. It's getting there. 653. Oh, 6.53? Yeah, it's nice. Woo. It's hot. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so I think the more you blend it, the smoother it will get. So, yeah. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Hold on. Let me let you size see me. I'm putting this stuff away. Like so much stuff on my counter. <laughs> you don't have to put it in the blender hot, though, right? No, not in this Vitamix. Mm -mm. Not in the Vitamix. It's gonna, it, mm -mm. It'll, it'll, it's gonna, you the know, Vitamix it'll make does soup. a good job of, um, yeah, yeah, it, it can it up. Yeah. Oh, it's hot though. <laughs> that tastes good. That is really good. That maple syrup, mm -mm -mm. that tastes really good. That's good. Okay. So hopefully, mm, we won't get to finish it. We might. We have six minutes. Um, if we do, I have too much, too much sauce on it. I'm just going to pack it up and have this jacky. I'm going to get that. It's time to wash dishes. <laughs> yeah, let's get things out of here. Let's put stuff away and make sure you put the jackies things away. Jackie, your name was called all day in this show today. <laughs> I'm going to just take that. Mm. I have a container to go that don't need to come back to my house. You all know me. I'm the repurpose girl, right? So I I repurpose everything. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Let's take that. Pop that in there. Because I already have pictures. I don't need no more photos. Because we're taking the six minutes until that. Um, the nuts are ready. Huh? No, I was just saying but it's it, still hot. 
It's hot. You can see that, right? I really shouldn't yeah, be living like, hot in this container. Right. Oh, not in plastic, Marlene. Yeah, it shouldn't go in there hot. I yeah, thought it was cool. I was shocked that I'm shocked to see it so hot. Not cold, obviously, but I thought it was cooler than that. You need to go right there to you your go. store and get yourself a glass container like that. No, this is to go. This is not coming back to my house. Oh, you understand? I made that for my friend because I'm allergic to the gluten. I don't do the gluten. Oh, right, so I right. Have her flour and I made it for her. <laughs> oh, okay. She only ordered me some nuts. <laughs> so yeah, that's leaving. That's leaving my house. So that's, in other words, you don't have to worry about the container. That's, I saved them so that when people ask, I can just let it go. Right. Without you losing the. You don't have to worry about your container. Because they'll back never like come this. back. If you send they it. They don't out. ever come. They never come back. Nope. They don't ever come back, baby girl. Never. <laughs> They'd be like, what container? What? I don't know you can put a container I have to you. <laughs> so it's easier this way. I don't have to worry about it coming back to my house. And um, you can just throw it away when you finish, right? That's it. Well, I think that's a wrap. I think that's a wrap. Let me see if I can get our butter. I wanted to really show you the finish of it. I don't know that we will get to finish it, but I'll take a picture of it. And um, like I said, actually the picture on the, let me show you something. The photo on the thumbnail is actually my butter. This one. I had spread it on... And I think when I did this, I had to add another, I had to add another cupful <clears throat> because my blender doesn't reach. I don't know that you can add water. I have never added water, just added more nuts. All right, so that's that's actually that butter over here. That's on one of those um rice cakes that I had bought from the Whole Foods. Mm. That's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. That's really good. That's really good. Well, guess what? It's been fun, but we got to run. And I'm going to just finish that up later because I have the prayer room now. But I love that butter. It tastes good. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. So you have no need to be buying butters anymore. Isn't that a good thing? We can make our own butter. And then what we'll do one day, too, I'll teach you how to make your own like smart balance butter or your earth balance butter. Okay? So look forward to that recipe. Um, coming up real soon. I have that recipe also that we can do. I used to do it all the time with my groups. Um, when I first started teaching, I haven't done it in a while, but definitely it's a winner. All right, Lady D, take it away. Close it up. Hey, y'all. Hope you enjoyed today. I hope you all are looking forward to trying some of these recipes. But as always, when God asks you to sustain from some things, He always, can I say always? I think I did say oh. always. Always, come on, somebody, always put something better in his place. And guess what? He does it today. Amen. Look forward to seeing you again. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, guys on YouTube, thank you for being with us. God bless you. And see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we're doing um how to whiten those pearly yellows. <laughs> and um, what else we're doing? <laughs> Facial masks of some sort. Yes. So, join us. All right. Bye bye. Thank you, Lady D. Thank you, Linda B.